Hello everybody, Tony Aiello, La Mirada Blog. I'm here at Biola University, and this is the last remaining olive grove from Andrew McNally's original olive grove in La Mirada. Of course, you know he had lemons and grapefruits and all kinds of stuff, but he is most famous for his, his olives. And the last remaining piece of the grove is right here. We're right across the street from Olive Lawn and uh, City Hall is across the street. And this is La Mirada Creek. Oh, and you can see some people up there enjoying the, the day. But this is La Mirada Creek right here. And um, you know, La Mirada Creek originates, um, I think, up by La, La Habra Hills. I don't know, somewhere up there. But, and it makes its way through La Mirada and then uh, goes over there by Stage Road and eventually empties, empties into North Fork Coyote Creek over there by the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet. This creek right here, believe it or not. So this is, this part of the La Mirada Creek is the only part of La Mirada Creek still left in its original state. It has sat here undisturbed for years. And as we take a walk down here, uh, I just got through announcing uh, a couple of soccer games on the field here at Biola University and so this is a unique opportunity. I don't get in here that often to, to give you guys a look at this and of course it being May and all that rain we had, I just knew there'd be all kinds of wildflowers and uh, what are those back there, floor clocks or nestrums or I'm not sure what these white and lavender beautiful wildflowers are called. Um, but like I said, this this part of the creek is the only part of La Mirada Creek still left in its original state. Now, um, in the 1940s, and believe it or not, guys, I saw when I was announcing the game, I saw a couple of horses uh, and horse riders using the horse trails that are still here in La Mirada. You can see them up there. And there's the flag at City Hall. But, uh, um, uh, when Bill Neff... Uh, who was um, the son of um, Edwin Neff and uh, Nanny McNally. That's how the Neff, and who were the, Nanny McNally was the daughter of Andrew McNally. She married Edwin Neff. One of the kids they had was uh, Bill Neff, William Neff, Bill Neff. Uh, anyways, he returned to La Mirada in 1949 uh, after Robert McGill died, who uh, ran the, uh, the ranch uh, for, um, from 1901 to the 1940s or so. And then when Bill Neff came back here in this in the 1940s and this spot he created um, two large migrating ponds right here where the athletic field is here for Biola University. So this creek kind of overflowed here and, and took up the whole athletic field area and there were a couple of ponds here where birds would migrate year round and all kinds of different species animals plants and um that's where that's what was here and this is this is what's left of it and you can see now uh from the heavy rains we had uh, how high up the water must have been here but as we continue to make our way down here i just thought i'd give you a quick little peek it's very rare you get to see inside here you get, it's hard to see down in here from lamarad boulevard but this is uh La Mirada Creek is still the only part of La Mirada Creek still left in its original state. Like I said, Bill Neff um, and uh, Bill Neff and um, I want to say who who was his little helper back then? They um, created some migrating ponds here and some fowl. And there you see they're cleaning up after the the soccer match. There's there's Matt Morris up there and uh, Dennis and. Uh, so this was is the only part of the La Marta Creek that is still intact. I thought I'd give you guys a little peek of this. Of course, back in the day, we would secretly cut through uh, from the west side of La Marta. We would we would cut through Biola University uh, before this field was constructed, and then we would sneak across here, to, and then up to City Hall, and then run across Regional Park to get to the plunge. That was our way to the plunge. But I used to ride my bike down here all the time, and so here you can kind of see where the the creek empties in. You know, they had big flooding problems here back in the day just because of the where, how, you know, where the creek sits right here uh, in front of City Hall. But that's it, guys. This was the site of Bill Neff's famous ponds and uh, where that he had constructed with different species of plants and, 
and he attracted all kinds of wild birds and animals. And uh, this is the only part of the creek. Very rare to get down here and take a look at this, but this is the only part of the creek still uh, in existence and still in its original state, believe that or not. So this is very nice to see. And like I mentioned, the original olive grove back there. So hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek. Uh, it's really hard to believe that back in the day this was all, of course, this is right here. This is in the way, but this is all one big kind of lake, pond, marsh area that kind of uh, was adjacent and part of the creek. So hope you enjoy this, uh, this little walk down memory lane, a little part of La Mirada history that still exists here in the Biola University campus. And until next time, you guys have a great day, great night, whatever it happens to be. We'll talk to you next time. Tony Ayala, La Mirada Blog.